Well, now to an exclusive interview with the new Rangers manager, Philippe Clement, who insists he is more than capable of dealing with the pressure that comes with the job, and he says he's aiming to win multiple trophies at Ibrox. Philippe, why Rangers? Why is this the right option for you at this stage in your career? Um, because of the talks we had. So, yeah, last couple of weeks, last couple of months, I, I spoke with several clubs in Europe uh, or also outside of Europe and this felt like the best project uh, and the thing I was looking for uh, a club with a lot of passion a real football club uh, with a lot of fans um, but also the people that I met from the club uh, were really passionate about the club What was that process like? It was widely reported Graham Souness was involved in the process, did you meet him and, and what was the, the overall process like for you? It's true that Graham was there uh, in the first talk to go in depth about, about football, uh, about details, about the team, about um, the fans, about uh, what people expect. And later on there were also several other people from the club involved in the process. So it was interesting also for me to get uh, much more inf information uh, about the club. I spoke also with Thomas Buffel, who was a uh, long time a player here and knows the club really well. So in that way, I think I gathered uh, enough information to make a, a really good decision. You mentioned you had been speaking about other options, other clubs, there were reports of an offer from Saudi Arabia as well. Did you have other options that you had to consider? Yeah, for sure. There were. Uh, several concrete options that uh, were financially better but uh, that's not uh, the important thing for me i want a really good project and and to build something together with uh, with the people of the club it's maybe understandable that players confidence would be low after a difficult start to the league season how do you pick that up do you feel this job requires big changes or just small tweaks I think if you make major changes directly, um, you make people more nervous than they are already. So we need to do it step by step. If I want to implement all my philosophy of football in five days, it's impossible. Not here, also not in the other clubs before. But at the end, it was always the result of a, of a strong team scoring a lot of goals playing attractive, dominant football, the things that people want to see here. You're now the fourth manager in two years at Rangers. Based on the talks you've had, how confident are you you get the time to, to succeed in the way that you want to? I'm, I'm confident about that. Um, I've seen so, so, yeah, serious people who, who know that they want to, to find a manager and they made a really long process with talking with a lot of uh, coaches also uh, to make the right choice. So they know what they will get in, into the building also. Uh, we were really clear about that from both sides. So it's now for me uh, focusing on the team and, uh, and making the team better. And also a very important thing to, to make uh, the synergy between the team and the fans better again. What can you tell us about your backroom staff? Will you look to implement someone who has maybe been in Scottish football or been at this club before? Is that a particular avenue you're looking at? For sure. That's an important thing for me, to have somebody who knows the city, who knows the players, who knows everything. Uh, we have the interim staff now together with us and we can uh, look the next couple of weeks if we keep uh, this way of working or we get other people in or we keep the same people. We have all freedom uh, in that way to look what's best for the club. What do you know about the pressure and scrutiny of Glasgow as a footballing city and how ready do you feel for that side of things? Yeah, I know it. Uh, I spoke with, uh, with Thomas about it, but uh, I've been a long time in football. It's also the thing I love. In Bruges, was also like that. It was only one goal is becoming champion. Um, and after being, being champion, to be champion again. And after being two-time champion, being champion again. It's who I am. Nobody can put more pressure on me than myself. I want to win every game. I want to have every day perfect. I want to have the next day to be better than, uh, than the day before. That's who I am. 
That's why I love this job also. That's why I love this challenge also. You arrive with the team seven points behind Celtic very early in the season and still a League Cup semi-final as well. How important are all the, the competitions and, and how confident are you you can bridge that seven-point gap? It's now important that we focus on ourselves and that we focus on what we have to do to become better and to get more points and to play better football and to get the fans behind the team and to get a better di dynamic again. And not to look far ahead what's going to happen uh, in six months. It's about now, the next weeks, next month, week by week, building the story. And there will be some bumps on the way, but then to stay confident. For me, it's like a marathon. So we can now focus on the seven points and try to sprint now really hard and lose our legs into that. Or to be focused on uh, the guy in front of us who is running and try to get their pace. No, we need to get our pace in a better way and that we get a good tempo that we, we can uh, make this comeback during the season.